How's it going everybody? Hope you guys are having a good week and you're staying safe out there. Today's video is going to be a replacement. I got a three ton condenser and an evap coil that I need to replace. Then after that I got to go pick up some more equipment for next week's install. Let's do some work. So this is the condenser that I'm going to be replacing today, keeping the disconnect and swapping out the indoor coil. Check out that. Ooh. So I replaced this package unit uh, about a year ago, ran some new EMT, turned out really nice. All right, so I got the unit pumped down so I can go ahead inside and get that coil removed. What I'm gonna do on this one is leave the copper lines connected. Normally I would just cut this really quick and move the condenser right out of the way. But what I'm gonna do this time is leave them connected so that way when I go to brazen the evaporator, I can go ahead and hook up my nitrogen and flow while I'm brazing. All right, so here is the coil that I'm replacing on this system here. I got a new in a box so that'll that'll go right now there's no auxiliary pan so I've got one to install but the furnace is staying we're just replacing the coil so here's the new coil that we're going with this is a 4 MXCB004 it's already set up for a horizontal right position got the drain pan in there and that's the application we have so we're good to go i don't have to do any field converting on this and it should be the exact same size as the coil that we're taking out so it should match up with the furnace it is a solid aluminum coil so we're good to go so the coil is now removed furnace looks like it's in good shape that's great what I'm gonna do is just remove these four blocks out of the way put the pan directly on the ground and then put these blocks right back where they are so that way the coil matches right back up to the furnace and we have a pan underneath it. and there it is so yeah everything should pretty much line right back up I went ahead and already made a new plenum box for this unit so that way I didn't have to worry about trying to transition to the existing one um, got it lined already so it's good to go all we have to do is just basically hook it to the new coil cut in a new uh, 16 inch flat tap hook this flex right back to the top of it and boom ductwork is done all right so the best thing to do whenever you need to cut and sand your copper is to go ahead and sand it before you cut it so that way you don't have to worry about any of the shavings or dust or anything getting inside your pipe so I know that <clears throat> I'm going to be cutting it about right here so now I can go ahead and just sand that spot really good before I cut it all right so since I have this copper piece that I have removed um, I can go ahead and get this thing deburred on both sides. I only like to deburr the copper if I either have it completely um, in my hands where I can make sure the shavings are blown out or if the pipe is like in a uh, downwards position where you can ream it out and everything falls straight out. If it's in any other orientation, I don't even bother because I do not want uh, those shavings to get inside the piping uh, and create a bigger problem. So since I've got it in my hand, I can do a good job at deburring it. Make sure it looks good. <gasps> nice. So I like to go ahead and purge the lines out really good first. Get all the air out. <clears throat> and then I'll back it down to, to braze. I like to be on the top side of the braze there. You can ever so slightly hear it. All right, we're, we're good to braze. 
All right, so I got everything piped in, the dryer piped in, um, the nitrogen is flowing. Now this blanket, magnetic blanket, normally the slit on it would go around the pipes, but the orientation of these being side by side and how close it is, um, it's just not enough room. So I'm just gonna keep it below it. That way it'll protect anything from getting um, burnt down here. And as far as around here, I'll just be careful um, to not, you know, burn up the cabinet. All right, so this is a piston coil. And looking at the paperwork here, we got a three ton unit. So it shows we have a 70 piston size. And that's actually what came shipped in the coil. So just put put that back in there. I'm gonna put the sticker on there. We should be good to go. All right, so here is the final product. Got the new coil in, the new plenum box attached to the existing flex line here. All the drain line connected, refrigerant lines, everything's done. This is a drain coming off this tankless water heater they had. So not ideal, but it is what it is. So now I can work my way out to the outdoor unit and get this thing fired up. So I just finished the vacuum. 228. Decay test complete. Everything looks good. We're gonna add a little bit of refrigerant and get this thing started up. All right, so we have a completely charged system here. It called for nine degrees superheat. Now I'm just putting my caps back on and we are out of here. All right, so we got a three ton condenser and evap coil complete. I think everything went well. I think everything looked pretty good. You know, sometimes when you're dealing with existing systems where you're not replacing everything, you know, you just can't get it perfect the way you would really want to. And that's all right. Not every job is gonna be absolutely perfect. So uh, anyway, I think it turned out really well. Charge looks perfect, so. I think we're good to go. Now I gotta head on down the road to get some more equipment for next week. And then as long as I don't get any more calls, that should be the rest of my day. Well guys, that is it for me today. No more service calls, so I'm gonna head to the house and uh, hang out with the family, do some more paperwork, and call it a day, guys. Thanks for coming along. Appreciate you guys taking your time to watch these videos. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Hit that thumbs up if you like what I'm doing, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you guys later. Woo!